Hello everyone, I'm the Solar Gamer, and welcome to Civilization V Gods and Kings as Rome. Now, I did slip up and call it the Holy Roman Empire, which is not the civilization that's in this game. The one in this game is actually the Ancient Roman Empire, which, I mean, I knew that, but I know, I don't know, I don't know why I said it. It is two separate things, technically. One is under Germanic leadership, and one is obviously under full Roman leadership. So I'm sorry that people got into a little fuss about that. Hopefully, we can spread and encompass the Holy Roman Empire's territories, or where it was. Uh, but other than that, I think we're ready to start this game off. Now, I will be playing on Epic Speed. Uh, we need to go to mods first. Yeah, I will be playing on Epic Speed only because Marathon is way too long way too long. I did a practice game and no, not happening. It is very, very tedious. I mean, it would be amazing if we just started off in the medieval era, had a couple cities. That would have been awesome. We could have just, you know, had a medieval war, but that's, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Okay. Set up game. There we are. Ryan Turner, uh, the solar empire should be the Roman. Alrighty, and we'll load up the Play Europe map. Here we are as Epic. Yeah, so the name of the mod, it's not really a mod, it's just a map with a map script. Um, but it's called Play Europe Gods and Kings Edition. And you can pretty much find that on the Steam Workshop. Okay, so we'll load the scenario up. Hey now, I said Rome. And everything should be all right. Now, I can't take off time, which is the only problem, but considering we're playing on a slower speed, I'm hoping that the game will stay in the earlier eras. So, I don't know. We'll have to see once we get into game and play it, but I'm ready. So, let's go as Rome. The blessings of the gods be upon you, Caesar Augustus, Emperor of Rome and all her holdings. Your empire was the greatest and longest lived of all in Western civilization, and your people single-handedly have shaped its culture, law, art, and warfare like none other before or since. Through years of glorious conquest, Rome came to dominate all the lands of the Mediterranean from Spain in the west to Syria in the east, and her dominion would eventually expand to cover much of England and northern Germany. Roman art and architecture still awe and inspire the world and she remains the envy of all lesser civilizations who have followed. Oh, mighty Emperor, your people turn to you to once more reclaim the glory of Rome. Will you see to it that your empire rises again, bringing peace and order to all? Will you make Rome once again center of the world? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? I sure as well hope so. I mean, I really hope that the collapse of Rome doesn't happen a second time, but uh, no, I'm ready for this. Let's begin our journey. Uh, let's see. The glory of Rome. We get plus 25% production towards any buildings that already exist in the capital. So if we're going to experiment with different buildings, make sure that we're doing that in the capital. We have the Roman Ballista, which replaces catapults. Yep. And it's a little bit more powerful. And we also get the Roman Legions, which replace swordsmen. And they can also build roads, so that would be useful somehow. Maybe not in the game, but in real life, they were absolutely incredibly useful. They built the roads of England, essentially. So let's settle, obviously, the city of Rome. We have a worker and we have a warrior, so... Alright, well, you can build a farm right here. That sounds worthwhile. And we might as well discover the rest of the boot. Yeah. All right, let's do that now. Got some nice marble. I don't know if these are historical resources. Citrus in Italy? Could be. I don't know. Obviously wine. Yep, I know that's there. So we're going to build a scout to go and meet the leaders of the north. And we are going to want calendar and animal husbandry. Okay. Grab animal husbandry and then go up to calendar. We'll get pottery on the way so we can build shrines and start our religion. That's very important. Alrighty. Keep moving. Oh, some more marble. Well then. 
It's very rich in Italy. Okay, and here's the end of the boot. Yeah, I'm not into women's footwear, but this definitely looks like a high-heeled boot. Yeah. Well, in this game it does. In real life it looks thicker than this, but I'm guessing they had to restrict some of the tiles. Well, here's Sicily. Maybe it's big enough to put a city on? I don't think we'll be able to tell. No, it looks like one, two, three tiles. That's it. See, I wish the tiles were much larger. Ah, well, it looks a little... Oh, we got spearmen. Awesome. Yeah, it looks a little bit bigger, but I don't think it's going to be much. Alrighty, so that was a worthwhile trip coming down here. Now let's head back this way. We'll come along this little hill, and we'll see if we can see Greece. I doubt it, but... We might be able to clip their scout passing by. Now there's some copper over here in, uh, it's either Corsica or Sardinia. Uh, I don't know what's, I don't know what this is. I forget. My geography is very good, but some things that are small like this, I, I just, I don't know. Oh, and for people that are complaining about me pronouncing names wrong, like a lot of the cities in England, like Warwick and Norwich, or Norwich, whatever it is. See, I did it again. There's no W, there's no R. You know, I just don't care enough to get it right. I mean, this isn't England, this is America. We mispronounce things all the time. I mean, hell, we have our own language, the American language. So, I mean... Hey, we declared our independence a long time ago. We have the right to pronounce things wrong. You're gonna complain about it? I'll just go nuke England again. Alrighty. I don't think we'll be able to see them here. Either way, let us start working on... Actually, you know what? A settler would be very nice. We could probably settle... Right about here, we'll gather this marble, this marble, and it looks like this marble over here. One, two, three, nope, maybe not. If we go right here, though, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, yeah, okay. So if we put a city right here, then we'll be able to gather all the marble into one city. I quite like that. And then maybe we'll have a city on Sicily. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's start working on a settler. I would go for the monument, but I might just get the culture buildings in the social policy. Where is it? Yeah, legalism. Provides a free culture building in your first four cities. So I'm going to do that. Go down tradition. That sounds worthwhile. All right, so settler. All right, now this spearman can come all the way back up here. And three turns for animal husbandry, so I guess just sit your butt up on top of this hill. Oh, that's another thing we should work on. After calendar, grab mining, so we can cut down some trees. Oh, Venice! Hello! Spices, pearls, and gems. Oh, you got ge- No, you don't have gems yet. If we can snag that away from you, that would be- Beautiful. 90 gold. Not the best, but it helps. I doubt we'll be able to snatch it up, though, because that's probably their next pop for a tile. Hmm. See, I want to get the rest of Italy all squared away before I go up north, but that also means that the other powers can snag up north before I get to it. Oh, we have another one. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Right. Okay. Cool. Animal husbandry. So you can start building that pasture. Either way, let's grab this and see who they are. Oh, Geneva. Hi. The first empire. Even though I can see Paris from here. Wait. How can I see Paris? 
Oh, a map. Not the best, but let's just randomly show up with an ambassador. Apparently not. I can see them, but I can't see them at the same time. Whatever. We'll meet them eventually. Oh, they have horses. Five horses, son of a bitch. Do we have any? Yeah, four. Well, it's not that much, but at least we have it in the homeland of Italy. One of the games I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, is Europa Universalis 4. And they announced that, I think it was a couple months ago, and I just can't wait for it, because I played the third game, and I just like the style of it. So maybe once that the fourth one comes out, I'll do a Let's Play on that as well. We'll see how things are going at that point. So Geneva has stone. Oh, they got gold. Oh, that's their big thing, huh? Damn. Okay. I mean, we have a lot of luxury resources here in Rome. One, two, three, four? Four resources. I doubt we'll get the gems in time. They have truffles. But that looks like it's it for them. Because I bet you Germany will probably claim this silver. They'll come over here. God of War. Sh well, that's actually pretty stupid. Unless they're planning on using a very tightly knit empire. So that bumped up our faith to 22 as the minimum to get a pantheon. Yeah, so what they got was God of War, and you'll gain faith if you win a battle within four tiles of your city. So I'm, I'm well, I guess early on against barbarians that's good, but later on it's just worthless. There are some pantheons that will last you the entire game and actually help you out, but I'm guessing the AI doesn't know that. <laughs> France, hello. Bienvenue. Je suis Napoléon de France, le militaire le plus intelligent de l'histoire mondiale. Now the votes weren't too high for France, which is kind of upsetting because I wanted to play as them, but maybe that's for next time. Maybe. I got to play as my ancestors at least once. Tu uh, disais? No, there's nothing to trade yet. It's the beginning of the game. All right. Now we're gonna wanna claim Venice, eventually. Bring it into the Italian Empire, or Roman Empire. We're not playing as Italy, we're playing as Rome. Sorry. It doesn't matter. Oh, they got some cotton over here. Cotton and wine, so they do have a decent amount of luxuries in the area. Oh, maybe Venice will pop this tile with the spices. Yeah, they got nothing else over here. Alright, let's go and meet the Spaniards. And we'll take out this barbarian encampment right there. Oh, you know what? We might get barbarians from this side. Because it's not all open. Ah, whatever. We'll worry about that when we bring the settler down there. No, not yet. Aha! There you are. Ah, one more turn. No, wait, no. I think we got it. Yep. Dios bendiga a aquellos que lo merezcan. Soy Isabel de España. Well, it's nice to meet you too, Isabella. I don't think we've been in the game with her. Yeah, I don't think we've been in a game with Spain before. That's that's. This is gonna be interesting. This entire game. England is in this game, because she is technically part of Europe. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna have to deal with England yet again, but, you know, Rome did conquer England once. Maybe we can do it again. We're supposed to have an upper edge considering we're spearmen, but it doesn't look like we do. <laughs> I don't know. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? What makest thou? 
All right, so we're going to want to build the shrine as quickly as possible. So after that settler, we'll build it. Madrid. Yes. Another farm. We need growth. Actually, you know what? That settler is going to cost us a pretty penny with the, with another city. Well, actually, by then... No? I mean, it'll be a couple turns after that, but we should get calendar. I don't know. All I know is we got to go for masonry after mining because of the marble. Oh, that's actually good that we didn't settle there then. Because now we can work the horses. I mean, then again, we would have had it automatically work it, but... I don't know. I feel like that's less efficient to sit on a resource rather than working it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm completely wrong. A promotion. Ah, damn it. And they spawned another unit. God damn. Barbarians! Damn, another Pantheon. Up to 29 now. Shit. Alright, just rest up there, because you're going to get attacked. We should be able to hold them off, but... Might as well heal anyways. Oh, they did pop it. Okay, so maybe we'll have a chance to get the gems? I doubt it. But... I don't know. Maybe. If we're lucky... Oh, they didn't even attack us. What are they doing? If they walk on that... Oh. They're flanking us. Yeah, that's what they were doing. Oh, well. Yeah, next turn they're going to attack. Absolutely. Uh, another Pantheon? You're kidding me. It's up to 43 now. Son of a bitch. Alright, take this out. They didn't see that coming. And destroy them once and for all. There we are. Good. Now we gotta send this spearman down to escort the settler. Okay, so we're starting out a little bit lower than the rest and we're actually doing okay so it's land that's why land soldiers and approval land is going to be solved almost immediately soldiers i guess i can build another spearman no wait no i don't have spearmen. i've got warriors he was a, a lucky grab all right so after the shrine build a warrior good should be getting a social policy in four turns. I might just... You know what? We'll send the settler over there. If it gets captured, the barbarians have nowhere to run. So, we can take it easily. Because this guy's at one HP. And I gotta bring him back here to heal. I don't want to waste any time. Send the intrepid Roman settlers out. La France ah! Looks like you got writing. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah. Give me 25 gold and you can have an embassy here. And we'll send this scout on up here to visit Northern Europe. Meet the states. Oh, we can't do anything, can we? Nope, not at the moment. We might as well come down with them. Nah. Just sit on that citrus. All right, tradition, yep. Adopting tradition greatly increases the rate of border expansion in cities and also grants three culture in the capital. Okay, good. So that'll act as a makeshift monument for now. Actually, better than a makeshift monument. Good. Yeah, we got no barbarians over here to worry about. We're all set. Oh, Austria. Die Erzherzogin zu Österreich heißt Eure Eminenz willkommen in... Ach, bringen wir es hinter uns. Um vier wird gespeist. Right. Hello, Maria. 
Look at that view you have there. I want that out my bedroom window, but I can't. I live in the suburbs. Okay, well... Ich höre. Uh, everybody's got horses in Europe. I guess we're not special having some. <laughs> That's alright. Aha, they're staring at us from across the way. You can't do anything though, can you? No. Pointy as sticks, Isabella, really. Yeah, but see, while they're building units, we're actually building buildings. Which will help out our main city, I guess. Antium! Well. Okay. That's fine. I like it. Oh, what's that? A destroyed city? Yeah, city ruins. Nobody's out of the game. Must have just been a city state. I'm not sure. Why don't you build a warrior? Yeah. Im Namen Germany. Des großen deutschen Volkes heiße ich euch willkommen. It's nice to meet you too, Germany. Okay, now we're sitting on unhappiness, but we have two more turns until we can build the plantation, and we should grab the citrus as soon as possible. Oh, the Netherlands. Ik ben Willem van Oranje, stadhouder over de Nederlanden. Behoeft gij iets? Mij staat nog veel te doen. Really? What an arrogant bastard. First he delays me by reading his book first, and then he he, <laughs> he asks me what I want. Really? You're not going to just say, hi, welcome to my country. Ah, oh, you are very selfish. And you have stupid baggy shorts. So, I'm going to leave and pretend you didn't even say that to me. Some of the people in this world, I tell you. Whew. 